Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question without notice is to the Premier. Given the Minister for Family and Community Services is responsible for a public housing waiting list of over 100,000 people, a maintenance backlog of over 300 million, considerable inadequacies in fact staff support and training, which according to last week's audit office report resulted in a serious lack of safety for tenants and staff, and record numbers of homelessness in New South Wales, how bad do things have to get before you intervene to rectify the failures of this minister? <coughs> Order. I call the Premier. Thank you, Mr Deputy Speaker. I acknowledge the question by um, the member for Newtown and appreciate um, that uh, I received a, a similar but not um, completely unrelated question from the member for Sydney about homelessness, and I appreciate uh, the issues she's raised today uh, in relation to um, uh, challenges in the housing sector. And I want to assure her that our government has not only boosted the FACTS budget, boosted the number of frontline workers, but also in relation to housing. We are the only state government in the nation that has a social housing and affordable housing fund, which uh, is over in excess of a billion dollars, which actually uh, is supported by a number of community-based organisations who are experts in providing community and social housing. Uh, all throughout the state, of course, the inner city has its challenges, but also throughout the regions. Um, you will find, especially in border communities, where homelessness is an issue. Uh, and uh, for the first time, any state government uh, in the history of our nation has a fund dedicated to build uh, three to 4,000 extra dwellings, new dwellings, over the next uh, four years alone. This is in addition to our homelessness strategy, which the minister, uh, yep, the minister so eloquently articulated during, during Homelessness Week, which was last week. Uh, our five-year strategy is over a billion dollars. This is on top of our social and affordable housing fund, so that's $1.1 billion. Then we have another billion dollars of new money uh, across government uh, to, to uh, deal with the issue of homelessness. And we know already the numbers that we use for homelessness aren't people that are exposed to the elements. The numbers which we use are those who are couch surfing or living in overcrowded rooms or, or don't have a permanent place. So uh, we are actually hard on ourselves in the way in which we measure the homelessness challenge because we want to make sure we're doing all we can to support those most vulnerable. Uh, and I want, to assure, uh, I want to assure the members and also the community that uh, we appreciate that um, mental health issues, domestic violence and drug and alcohol addiction are the three main uh, reasons why people find themselves homeless. And it's not enough to provide a roof over somebody's head which has permanency. What really people need is that wraparound community <coughs> services that go along with supporting them to deal with whatever challenges they have to help them seek independence because we know there is nothing more satisfying for an individual who's going through challenging times than to be able to receive the support, find a job and be able to support themselves. Now we know that's not possible in every circumstance, but where it is possible, we're making sure that our referral services, our whole of government uh, strategy goes towards supporting that person end to end and allowing them to have the potential <coughs> to uh, be independent and to leave a fulsome life. We know that in some circumstances, people's challenges are such that unfortunately uh, they require almost 24-hour support. And uh, that's where it's important for us to identify those people and make sure they have the support and services they need. Now, there is a challenge, of course there is, but uh, we are a government that's leading the nation in the way we're dealing with these. And as I, um, as I mentioned in response to the question provided by the member for Sydney, I also, um, uh, we're also appealing to experts who are not government whether they're community-based organisations, whether they're private sector organisations, to help us through social impact investment. Social impact investment allows non-government bodies to come forward with their ideas and incentives to improve what are systemic social issues that have dogged uh, communities for generations. Um, and we want to make sure if you keep doing the same thing the same way, you're going to get the same result. And in areas of, and one thing I'm extremely proud of, is the minister and her team have managed to reverse the trend in the number of children in out-of-home care for the first time in many, many years. And I'm incredibly proud of this. And the minister <coughs> needs to be commended because this is work that has never happened before uh, in New South Wales. We are now seeing the trend in the number of children in out-of-home care declining, including uh, uh, Aboriginal communities. Order. The member for Bankstown. Because, um, You're on a call. That's okay. She's a sniper. You're on two calls. 
Um, You're on two calls. But Mr. Mr. De Mr. Deputy Speaker, as I was saying, and I use I use that as an example because dealing with uh, children in out of home care, we've received support through social impact investment, where non-government organisations who are experts and at the coalface have given government advice about some of the strategies we can adopt to reverse the trend. We are relying on those similar processes uh, to get expert advice from non-government providers as well as community groups to allow us to consider what other uh, opportunities we have in the homelessness space. And it's important to note that when a major change occurs in an area of social policy, when you see positive outcomes, you have to get to the root cause of those and apply them to other sections of Order. the community, which is why... Yes. Thank you, but I'd be happy to answer further questions in the future on this topic.